hi and welcome or welcome back to booktube with amy today is going to be my birthday book haul <laughs> so i am not using the microphone today because i still have a bit of a cold and you do need to be hearing my snatters and like high def sound so <laughs> i'm leaving it off so I very recently turned 30 and I have been absolutely spoiled. I've got so many books beside me to talk to you guys about that I have been gifted or Simon purchased for me when we were on my birthday trip or I have purchased for myself because I do like to treat myself in May because eh, it's my birthday month. <laughs> I am not going to say too much about the books. I'll just say title author if they were purchased for me by anybody else and if they were new or used. <laughs> Right, I'm bringing you in a wee bit closer so we can get started because I've quite a bit to get through. <laughs> so first of all, I've got Twilight, the graphic novel, volume two by Stephanie Meyer and they are done by Young Kim. Got the first one second hand a wee while ago, managed to get this one second hand on eBay for a no too bad price because these go for a fortune. <laughs> And then I picked up from a local charity shop, Richard Osman, The Man Who Died Twice. This is the sequel to Thursday Murder Club, which I haven't read yet, but it's in a charity shop, I'm, I'm obviously going to take it. And then I purchased myself The Work by Frightened Rabbit. Um, I purchased this new to help support Tiny Changes, um, which is the charity that Scott's family set up. Um, in his memory basically and I've wanted this for a wee while and I've just never really had an excuse to buy it and I thought turn of 30, life's been a bit mince, I'm just going for it. Then on our trip Simon purchased me new A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens and this is a limited edition one that they print at the museum. And then on our trip Simon also got me the Comedy Errors, the folio edition of the reprints that they do at Shakespeare's Globe and it's absolutely gorgeous. Then my mum and dad have been getting the house done up in different stages and they were doing another stage of a clear out before a bit was getting done and so they came across a couple more of my childhood books. So they came across Rhymes for Annie Rose by Shirley Hughes which was a favourite of mine, A Case You Can't Tell by The Damaged Spine. So that came home to be on my shelf. And then they also found my big Osborne bind up of Stories from Shakespeare. This is my first like entryway into Shakespeare when I was wee and I just fell completely and utterly in love with the stories that ended up sparking like a life long passion for me and when me and Simon were at the Globe they had like the individual ones of these and I picked one up and I'd say to him oh I had a big bind up of this as I was a kid so it's really funny that my mum and dad found it that weekend that we were away and um, so this is on the shelves and I'm definitely going to need to read this. And then I received an arc from Harper Teen and this is Firebird by Tsunami and this is a um, graphic novel it's supposed to be two-tone in these beautiful um, sunset -y colours but obviously because it's an arc my copy is in black and white but I'm excited to read this. And then Simon also purchased me We Can Never Leave This Place by Eric LaRocca and he purchased me this new because this is obviously indie published by Eric LaRocca and we like to support indie authors on this channel. I actually read this already on the way home because I couldn't wait. <laughs> And then my lovely sister got me Tithe by Holly Black for part of my birthday. I have never read this series but I believe like this is her very first fairy series that she has ever written so I'm really excited to get into this. And then I was very kindly sent by a lovely subscriber Gemma All the Tides of Fate by Adeline Grace which is the sequel to All the Stars and Teeth that I have on my shelf. And then she also sent me two Tilly Walden books. So I have Alone in Space by Tilly Walden and I have Are You Still Listening by Tilly Walden. I really can't wait to read these because I absolutely loved On A Sunbeam. It made me cry. Hoping these are going to do the same. Just what I need to know. And then my sister also purchased me Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett which I have heard nothing but good things about so really excited to get to this one as well. And then when we were in a charity shop in London I picked up Clara and the Sun by Kazuya Shiguru. I've never read any of Shiguru before but I know that they get some hype, specifically this book. I'm hoping to try and get into sci-fi a wee bit more so I thought I would grab it while I had the chance. And then Simon got me a set of Folio Society books which are absolutely stunning. Um, and so he got me these ones, don't know if you can see, I'll open them up and show you. And these are Shadow and Claw and Sword and Citadel by Jean Wolfe. 
These are supposed to be like quite a renowned um, fantasy series. I have never heard of them, <laughs> to be honest, but uh, they are absolutely stunning additions. They've got like wee illustrations. I'll find one to show you if I can. They've got like illustrations in it. Um, oh, that's quite a rude one. That's, that's quite a rude one. That's a bit awkward. Um, but they're supposed to be brilliant and so I will definitely be giving these a try. And then Simon also purchased me my Folio Society edition of Misery, which is absolutely stunning. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. It's one of my favourite books of all time and I am so, so chuffed to have this edition. This has got illustrations in it as well, which are absolutely stunning and like the typewriter's iconic. He then also purchased me a Folio Society edition of A Brief History of Time from the Big Band to Black Holes by Stephen Hawking and this is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Again, pictures inside it like the rest of the Folio editions. Absolutely gorgeous edition, so chuffed to have this on my shelf, it is stunning. And obviously all the Folio Society editions that he purchased me for my birthday he purchased me new. And then he got me this beautiful Walt Whitman edition. This is like a study on Walt Whitman's life and his work with some of his selected poems in it as well. And he got me this absolutely gorgeous edition second hand when we were in London for a wee second hand bookshop um, where Black Books the sitcom was filmed. And Walt Whitman is just quite special to me and Simon. We had some Walt Whitman in our vows and um, and like Simon's wedding speech and stuff and it's just such a gorgeous edition. I'm so lucky to have this. Only 750 of this specific edition were made and I have one. Oh, picking up another wee pile there. Um, so then I have Flashfire by T.J. Clune and I believe that this is the second book in the Extraordinary series which I have never read before but I am absolutely loving T.J. Clune. I have enjoyed thus far everything that I have read by them. Nothing has ever let me down, nothing has ever been more than a five star at this point so I wanted to get this series for my shelves as well so I actually purchased this for myself second hand before my birthday. And then Simon purchased me Neon Roses by Rachel Dawson from an independent bookshop in London called Belgravia Books. He purchased this for me on our trip and so this was purchased new. And then he got me Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow when we went to see Hamilton in London. This is the book, the autobiography of Alexander Hamilton. Um, well, biography rather that Hamilton is based on and so I am excited to read this even though it's a chunk, um, but I this is also purchased new. And then in a charity shop down in London, I picked up Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. So I managed to get this gorgeous edition, second hand, black spread edges, and it's also an arc, which is so cool. And then from the British Library in London, Simon purchased me Arthur and Teddy are coming out by Ryan Love, which just sounds like the best wee book ever and I can't wait to get to this one. So this was new. From another independent bookshop in London, Simon purchased me All the Fun of the Fair by Caroline Hulse. And then before we went away, I purchased myself three wee birthday presents, just three wee ones. So I got myself A Secret Rage by Charlene Harris and then Sweet and Deadly by Charlene Harris. These are two Charlene Harris standalones. I've never read a Charlene Harris standalone before, but me and Anne just seem to be reading through her entire back catalogue together on the internet for everybody to join. And so I thought that I would add these two to my shelf to complete my Charlene Harris collection. And then I also purchased myself Nothing But Trouble by Ellie Alexander, which is the next in the Bake Shop Mystery series that I needed for my shelf. I'm going to need to feed in an ebook and let me tell you, Simon's not going to be thrilled. <laughs> and then from an independent bookshop in London, Simon also purchased me Get A Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. And then these were actually purchased for me for my birthday. And this is P.S. at P.S. I Still Love You, Always and Forever Lara Jean and To All The Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is the trilogy which I have never read. I've never read any ja Jenny Han before but I really like the films on Netflix that they were based on so looking to give these a try. And then second hand I received The Mermaid by Christina Henry and this was also a birthday gift by a subscriber. 
and then the Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels by India Halton which was also sent to me for my birthday by a subscriber. Can't wait to read both of these, they look absolutely brilliant. And then also gifted new to me for my birthday was The Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You and We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. So this is the other trilogy that Amazon Prime have acquired and did the first series of a TV show of which I also enjoyed. So want to read the books of these ones as well. And then I have been buzzing for these books to come. <laughs> I obviously read and really loved Vesper Teen by Margaret Rogerson and I had an Enchantment of Ravens on my shelves but I didn't have a Sorcery of Thorns yet and I hadn't read an Enchantment of Ravens yet but Fairy Loot released her other two standalones Sorcery of Thorns and an Enchantment of Ravens and special editions to match the Vesper Teen that I have and I needed to get them so Simon purchased these for me as a wee um, non-birthday birthday present <laughs> which I'm very very grateful for and very excited to have these we'll definitely be reading them soon gorgeous gold sprayed edges and then oh, these are the backs they have gorgeous insides here as well and they're signed and then I also purchased for myself Heatwave by TJ Clune, which I believe is the third one in the Extraordinary series. Then I also had three other books sent to me by a subscriber for my birthday and this is some indie published fantasy romance because I've really enjoyed the Laura Thalassa books recently. And so this is Night World Academy 1, 2 and 3 by LJ Swallow. I've never really heard much about this series but I will definitely give them a go. And then I purchased Second Hand from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I've never read any Jennifer L. Armentrout. I know she gets so much love and somebody was selling this one, even though it's a chunk, at quite a decent price second hand so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go. I might need to do like a dialect fantasy romance try that trope or something like that and then I got an absolute bargain so somebody was selling these second hand on Facebook and I managed to get them which I am absolutely buzzing about and so that is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco, Hunting Prince Dracula, Escaping from Houdini and capturing the devil and I managed to get like this entire series for 20 quid which is amazing. <laughs> and then in a charity shop I picked up The Little Old Lady Who Broke All The Rules by Katrina Engelman Sundberg. I actually picked up the second one of these in a haul not too long ago. I believe it's a duology, I haven't actually checked but it just looked like such a wee book because the older character um, is our main protagonist and you know I really enjoy that and I've kept the wee eye out for the first one I found it recently and snapped it up. And then my sister for my birthday also got me Touch of Euphoria by Kat Holland. Now Kat Holland is a um, indie author from Glasgow who writes fantasy. I am so excited to dive into this. This is a duology at this point. I'm not too sure if there's going to be more books in the series but this is the first one and I can't wait to get to it. We're moving on to the last pile that I can safely say. <laughs> So from a charity shop, second hand, I got Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur and then from an independent bookshop in London, Simon purchased me Life Ceremony by Siaka Murata and This Is How You Lose the Time War by Amel El Motar and Max Gladstone. Then from a charity shop I also picked up The Stormcaller, Tom Lloyd, book one in a series obviously. And then from an independent bookshop in London Simon purchased me The Lives of Elves by Muriel Barbary and this has been on my wish list for a wee while so I'm excited to give it a go and it is also signed by the author which is really cool. And from that same independent bookshop he also purchased me The Swimmers by Chloe Lane and Before the Coffee Gets Cold Tales from the Cafe by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. And then for my birthday Simon purchased me the entire Alice Oseman novel collection. So here we have This Is Winter, we have Nick and Charlie and then we have Solitaire, Radio Silence, I Was Born For This and Loveless. Then in a charity shop I picked up myself My Grandmother Sends Her Regards and Apologies by Frederick Backman. Again another book about a wee old granny, my favourite thing in the world. And then The Confession by Jesse Burton. This one has been like on and off and on and off and on and off my wish list. I couldn't decide if I wanted to give it a go or not. It was 75 pence so I decided to try it. 
And then I also got Ninth House by Lee Bardugo to give a go. Everybody raves about this, it gets a lot of hype. I am not too sure whether I like Lee Bardugo's writing or not, I'm still sort of between and froing on that. But this is something a wee bit different from like the Shadow and Bone and um, Six of Crows duology that I thought I would try it. And then I was so kindly sent A Marry and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston by Chloe over at Phantom Pages who is amazing and one of the loveliest persons ever so I will link their channel down below and it has gorgeous silver glittery sprayed edges. I've been wanting to get to this for a wee while, can't wait to do that. And then I was sent this by an author and this is Celeste in the Witch Garden by Jude Gwinear. This cover has given me like proper old school 80s vibes. Um, if anybody had any books like this when they were wee, like it's just given me such a visual image. Um, of, like mad fairy tales and stuff, which it's exactly what this sounds like. This is indie published. And then I have The Extraordinaries by TJ Clune. Did anybody guess that this was coming? Because I bought the other two and I purchased this for myself second hand as well. And lastly, Simon purchased me <laughs> In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Clune, which is his new standalone. Can't wait to get to it. I'm sure it's going to be brilliant. And Simon purchased me this new. That has been my birthday haul. Um, so, so many books. I feel so incredibly lucky to everybody who gifted me anything. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying everything that you're reading at the moment. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.